Okay, uh, just want to do a video today on uh, on the flop shot, which I would consider this a, a specialty type shot. Like I said before, it's a really low percentage golf shot, and uh, I wouldn't recommend using this unless you just have to have to use it. And uh, it'd be if you're short sighted, you got to stop the ball really quick on the green, or you're carrying a bunker, water, anything like that. So I, I'm, I'm gonna get into the technique part of it. Um, I like to, I like to, I'm going to come up close and show you my grip. I like to open the face of my sand wedge and I just basically have it laid flat. I have my grip. My grip is slightly different with this. I'm not gripping it from my normal grip from the side. I use what's called a butterfly grip. And this right hand just comes over the top right there. The club face will remain square, if you can see that. <clears throat> if you can just get a shot of the club face right there. All right, <clears throat> the goal with this is not to let the club face rotate, rotate over. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just gliding under the ball. The face is staying open all the way through the shot, looking up to the sky. And that's going to help get it popped up in there and land really soft. Um, and the grip also helps me do that. That keeps me from rolling any kind of forearm or any type of rotation in that shot. Uh, the reason why I like the channel lock flop, flop shot from rear ball position, uh, anytime that I hit it from the front and got all my weight forward, I would get weird spin on the ball. I never could judge how the ball would uh, hit and run out. Typically it's not going to run out very far, but I would get side spin on the ball. And uh, so, so with the channel lock flop shot, the reason why I like it so much, it just comes out dead back spin on the ball. And it's really predictable and uh, it, it's easy to hit also. And I'll give you a little example right here. The ground's really wet right now. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just letting this hit the, the bottom of the ground. That way it doesn't dig. It just glides. Just glides right underneath the underneath the ball and I'm using the bounce of the club. So uh, the main thing here is you got to keep your, your rhythm steady, smooth through the ball, accelerate, and uh, you never want to get long and then slow down. You want to really accelerate through the ball nice and smooth. So I'll give you an example. I get a little bit lower in my legs with this shot. Also, before I hit it, I need to show you this. A little bit lower, I lower the handle, okay? Uh, the reason why I do that, I'm gonna show you up close. Let's say I'm aiming straight ahead right here. I open the face. That club face is going that direction to the right when you open it up. So you have to make an adjustment for that. Uh, if not, you swing, you're gonna hit the ball out to the right. So. What you can do, you can either open up more to the target line and set your club face square down the target line. Just back cock to the ball there, swing it down that line, or you can do this. Club face is open, target line's right there. You can lay the handle back just a little bit backwards, and that squares the club face up. I'll show you from right here. See how the club face will square up when you do that? Also, with the handle going backwards a little bit, that adds more loft to the club and you'll hit the ball higher. So, um, when you take your grip for this club to hit a flop shot, you never want to grip it neutral and then open the face. Because if you do that, you're going to have to, um, you're, you're probably going to rotate back and the club face will shut. So you don't want to do that. You want to open the face, then take your grip. Okay. I've got my little butterfly grip right there right here I set up I get a little bit lower the handles a little bit lower and back just a tad bit and we're going to accelerate through the ball nice and smooth and it hit really soft 
very predictable. I'll show you one from behind. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to aim a little bit further left. There's that flag. Lower in my legs. Connected right here with my elbow. I'm not letting it go out there. I'm connected. Handle back. Five o'clock nose. Just let it go from the inside. Those two balls are side by side. They hit extremely soft. There's no strange kind of weird side spin or anything like that. I'm still attacking it from the inside. And uh, practice with this uh, like I said it's a really low percentage shot but uh, it, it comes in handy especially if you get short-sided um, it's fun to do that uh, now I'm gonna hit one where I would swing all out I'm gonna show you a full swing doing it and uh, try to make the ball go the same distance this is definitely a, a low percentage but you can just throw it straight up. I'm gonna lower this handle back, hands lower. Same place. So that's, <laughs> I wouldn't ever recommend doing that, but if you had to just stop it where it didn't roll anywhere and hit just straight down, you could hit that shot. But I, I just wanted to show that's possible with channel lock. And uh, I'll be back with some more specialty shots and uh, show you how I play them.